Some trouble getting hold of Robert Duncan at Petodre and what has been a difficult afternoon in all sorts of ways in Aberdeen. I think we do have his report now on Aberdeen Kilmarnock. Yes, I hope we can stay with you. The final score, Aberdeen 1, Kilmarnock 0. And Aberdeen were hanging on at the end of a game they were expected to win in some style. A cane goal put them in front, but they had to battle against a Kilmarnock team playing the game at a ferocious pace despite missing several key players, including player manager Tommy Burns. A power failure delayed the start by 10 minutes, but when the game did get going, there was no lack of power in Kilmarnock's batteries. They treated the match like a cup tie, and their fierce tackling knocked Aberdeen out of their usual smooth style. The closest first half things were at Sneller's end, but within a minute of the restart, Kane had fired Aberdeen ahead from a bet layback. But Mitchell and then Skilling with a header could have equalised Kilmarnock. Sneller saved Mitchell's shot, and Skilling's header was too weak in front of an open goal. Booth and Shearer then missed chances for Aberdeen, and the game ended. Aberdeen won, Kilmarnock nil. Yes, from what we had earlier on, though, Robert, Kilmarnock gave as good as uh, they got in that first half, and that must augur well for their chances of surviving in this first season back in the Premier. Well, if they continue to play like this, you can certainly say that. They're obviously very fired up for this game, and uh, I suppo suppose the fact that they were missing key players did have that effect upon them. But whether they can maintain this kind of pace uh, all through the season is questionable. The other thing, of course, they have to do is put away their chances. They had several very good chances apart from the two that I mentioned there, and they just didn't put them away. Uh, some of the credit must go to Aberdeen. All right, thanks very much indeed, Robert. That's something I'm sure that uh, Tommy Burns and Billy Stark and company will be working on at Rugby Park. A power failure at Petondry meant a 10-minute delay to kick off, but this was one match worth waiting for, packed with incident from start to finish. The first real chance fell to the Dons. Booth's cross from the right was chested down by Shearer. Kane's shot deflected just wide. Minutes later, Betts' short corner was played in by Kane. Lee Richardson headed over. At the other end, Killy's Mark Skilling found himself in space on the right. But Williamson just failed to get in the end of it. Riley's corner was punched clear by Snelders. McPherson took his time and knocked it wide to black. He made space for himself and crossed it back in. This time, Snelders struggled to get a hold of it. It was played back to Mitchell, who drove it straight through a ruck of players. Gary Smith cleared off the line. Kelly were having a real go now. McCluskey found Mitchell on the right, but his right foot effort was blocked by Connor. Duncan Shearer and Andy Millen got involved in a heated exchange as the pace of the match increased. Both went for the ball in the centre circle and clashed in the process. Referee Morrison booked both men. Killy pushed forward again. Black sent Williamson off in the clear, but Snelders saved well. Then another good chance for Tommy Burns' men. Black's free kick was driven low and hard, but it fell to Mitchell, who cracked it back in, but again, Snelders saved the Dons. Incredibly, no goals then in the first 45 minutes, but that all changed seconds into the second half. Jess now on for Patalainen, as Connor found Shearer, who knocked it out to the left to Jess. He played it into Bet, who touched it back to Paul Kane. A great finish from him, 1-0 to the Dons. A controversial moment after that, Riley's corner kick headed on by McCluskey, but Gary Smith appeared to handle it. No penalty, ruled referee Morrison, and that incensed the visitors. Judge for yourself in replay. Perhaps the Dons lucky to survive this one. The home side went straight back on the attack. Jess racing clear down the right, but Booth just failed to get on the end of his driven cross. The Dons were trying to kill the match off now. Jess slipped the ball nicely to Shearer, and his shot in the turn wasn't far away. But Killy were far from out of it. McCluskey led the charge forward, then slipped it inside. Connor missed it, Mitchell shot, but Snelders again to the rescue. Willie Miller introduced namesake Joe to the proceedings, and the Dons had two more chances in what had been a great 90 minutes. Jess turned and crossed, but Shearer couldn't steer it past Geddes. Then Jess again, the provider. Some good work on the left, touching it back to Booth, but he couldn't get the shot on target. End-to-end -end stuff, though, 1-0 it finished.